Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. One thing that movies like Jurassic Park have taught us is that scientists should never mess up with the DNA of extinct animals, because we've seen in the movies, you never know when things go south. Scientists are not taking cues from movies at all because it's been ascertained that all around the world, they're actually doing just that. Do you think that we'll once again be able to live with extinct animals like the woolly mammoth, the T-Rex? It's for this reason that Mindboggler has rounded up 10 extinct animals which can actually be revived by science. Make sure to stick on to the last one because it'll completely blow your mind. So, let's get started. Number 10. Siberian Unicorn One thing that kids and sci-fi aficionados love is unicorns. Well, I'm not saying that scientists are going to revive unicorns, but something close to that. Known as Siberian Unicorn, or Las Motherarium Sibiricum, this animal is a distant relative of the modern rhinoceros. The Siberian Unicorn is believed to have lived all over Eurasia 2.6 million years ago until it became extinct 30,000 years ago. The animal gets its popular name because of the single large keratinous horn that grew from its head at a length of 3 feet. With a speed of 45 miles per hour and weighing over 5 tons, this animal is surely one which our ancestors would never want to make angry. But in 2018, scientists were able to analyse the DNA of this creature, where they revealed that the animal became extinct because of natural climate changes. Although there are no current actions in making this beast come to life, the younger bone fossil and DNA, it's definitely a possibility that scientists could make this creature walk on Earth once more. Would 10-year-old kids be excited to see this half-unicorn? Would they be terrified of it? Number 9. Aurochs Aurochs is a beast which you've never heard of until now, where this creature was the wild ancestor of the present-day cattle. Meaning every cheeseburger you ever had included Aurochs as the great-great-grandfather. Weighing over 680 kilograms, these long-horned bovines would graze the grasslands of Europe, Asia and North Africa until they became extinct in 1972. But did you know that projects really exist in Netherlands, Hungary and Germany, where biologists want to practice backbreeding to bring the beast back? Backbreeding literally means breeding backwards, where biologists want to crossbreed modern cattle species since they have a little bit of DNA of the ancestral aurochs. They hope to breed a creature that looks and behaves like an aurochs. In theory, biologists believe that with the help of aurochs, the rural landscapes will be re-engineered since the animal has a natural practice of grazing. Number 8. Ivory-billed Woodpecker When talking about extinct animals, this recent extinct bird named Ivory-billed Woodpecker was known for its ivory-coloured bill and also the male bird's scarlet crest was something to be adorned. The woodpecker was once referred to as the Lord God Bird. You may ask why. It's because this sentence was commonly said when seeing this magnificent bird. It was spotted by ornithologists in 1944, but because of rampant deforestation, the bird succumbed to extinction. But since de-extinction has become an emerging field, people want to revive this lost species with the help of advances in synthetic biology, which also includes cloning. Philip Sedan is one of the most renowned zoologists at the University of Otago in New Zealand, where he's involved in drafting de-extinction guidelines for the International Union of Conservation of Nature. He expresses that the only thing he's interested in is conservation benefits, which he defines in the terms of restoring some missing ecological functions. But why would they start with the ivory-billed woodpecker? It's because the Cornell Lab of Ornithology has offered a $50,000 reward to those who could lead researchers towards a living specimen of the ivory woodpecker. Now, that's a worthy reward to bring back Lord Godbird, isn't it? Number 7. Woolly Mammoth If you've been a crazy movie buff for the Ice Age series, then you definitely must know about the woolly mammoth who shared space with our ancestors. Strangely, scientists all over the globe have been obsessed with reviving this woolly beast. This became especially more rampant when a near-complete specimen of the beast was found, well-preserved, buried deep in the permafrost in Yakutsk, Russia in 2013. So since 2015, a team led by the famous molecular engineer and geneticist George Church of Harvard University aimed to produce a mammoth-elephant hybrid by spicing the genes of a woolly mammoth and an Asian elephant, since the animal is the closest living relative that shares 99% of its DNA. The effort of his team is not only to protect the endangered Asian elephants, but also to combat global warming, where these woolly mammoths would graze on the Arctic tundra, thereby exposing the earth below to cold air, so that the area would be frozen for a longer time. Do you think that you'd love to see a woolly mammoth saving us from global warming? Let us know in the comments below. Number 6. 
Irish elk. Since we're talking about animals that deserve de-extinction, the Irish elk is a must mention. This creature is one of the largest deer that ever lived on Earth, where it's also known simply as a giant deer. The animal walked in Eurasia during the Pleistocene era, where it became extinct less than 8,000 years ago. Irish elk is known for its humongous size, where its total mass is 1,300 pounds, and let's not forget its enormous antlers that can grow up to 12 feet wide. Although it's not clear as to why this gigantic deer became extinct, just like the woolly mammoth, the specimen of the Irish elk can be found in the melting permafrost. So, this creature is definitely a prime candidate for being cloned. Yes, you heard it right. According to the University of California Museum of Paleontology, they opine that the Irish elk's humongous size and unique appearance has been of great significance to the paleontology since the animal has been the talk of debate when it comes to evolution. Number 5. Tasmanian Tiger All of you guys must be aware of the Tasmanian Devil thanks to Looney Tunes, but did you know that an animal existed called the Tasmanian Tiger? Also known as thylacine, the Tasmanian tiger was the largest carnivorous marsupial in Australia. In 1936, the last of its kind died in the captivity because of habitat destruction, hunting and introduced diseases. However, the resurrection of this beast might become an actuality very soon, all thanks to the biologist Andrew Pask from the University of Melbourne. He was a part of a team who worked for 10 years to successfully sequence the genome of the Tasmanian tiger in 2018. This means that in the immediate future, we might be able to witness this majestic creature once again. Number 4. Sabre-toothed Cat Since we're talking about Ice Age beasts that should be revived into the world, how can we ever forget this nasty kitty, also known as the Sabre-toothed Cat? I know, I know, you must be thinking why on earth would anyone want that sharp-toothed cat to devour us in real life? You're absolutely right. These feisty cats weigh 600 pounds, where shoulder height is over 3 feet, with a body length of 5 feet and 9 inches. Wow. No wonder our ancestors would never want to come close with these things. This iconic sabre teeth would grow to an astounding 11 inches. Holy guacamole! They became extinct an approximate 11,000 years ago because of the decline in herbivores, since they relied heavily on those animals for food. But yet again, because of the discovery of specimens in permafrost, this animal is another good candidate to be revived into the world. But the question remains, why? Aren't tigers and lions enough already? What do you think? Number 3. Velociraptor I'm sorry, but I'm about to ruin your childhood. Because the Velociraptor which you see in the Jurassic Park movies is nothing like how the dinosaur would actually look in real life. These little terrifying creatures that waved the Earth a goodbye in the late Cretaceous period, apparently 70 million years ago, were actually not bigger than a turkey. Say what? Yes, they weighed only 30 pounds, which means they'd just stand up to your knees. And yes, they are entirely covered in feathers. But the real question is, can scientists actually reanimate these creatures? According to Dr. Susie Maident, a dinosaur researcher, proclaims that red blood cells have been found in fossilized dinosaur bones, but since DNA breaks down over time, an entirely preserved dinosaur genome is yet to be found by scientists. Well, we hope they never will be found, because it doesn't matter if they're the size of a chicken, they can still crunch our bones between their teeth. Number 2. T-Rex The special attraction of every Jurassic Park movie has always been the T-Rex, so much so that the movie would never be complete without it. This big bad mother walked on Earth 20 feet long and 20 feet tall, where it weighed a whopping 14 metric tons. The skull of a T-Rex alone was 5 feet long. This predator was known for its terrifying teeth but tiny arms that eventually succumbed to the giant meteor which plunged into the Yucatan Peninsula, I believe 66 million years ago. Not only kids, but scientists like Dr. Maident are so amazed by this creature that they're still rummaging for the specimens of dino DNA, just for that D-Day when they decide to open a real Jurassic Park. But the doctor opines that there will be ethical and logical dilemmas like what the creature will eat, who will own it, what would its function be, and where would it live? What do you think? Would a T-Rex make our world a better place? And number one, Neanderthals. I know we've been going on and on about how animals can be revived, you know, brought back from extinction, but what if I tell you that not only animals, but humans could be brought back from extinction? When did humans ever become extinct, you might wonder? Well, if we dive back deep into our ancestral lineage, it's been proposed that many years ago we shared our planet with a completely different set of human beings called Neanderthals. When compared to us, Neanderthals were stockier and had shorter limbs, large chests, tiny chins and a forehead which was large and sloping. Apart from the physical features, their minds too were advanced like us. 
George Church, the same guy who aims to bring back the woolly mammoth, thinks that de-extinction of the Neanderthals can occur in his lifetime. While interviewing with Spiker online in 2013, Church expressed that he thinks that de-extinction can be possible since technology is improving at a rapid rate, especially when it comes to reading and writing DNA. He further said that since cloning a mammal is highly possible, it's very likely that in future we can clone a human. But this surely raises the bar on our moral code. Should we clone a human? Wouldn't that be against the law of nature? What are your thoughts? Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.